All right, guys, I just put heavy whipping cream, layered the whole bottom tray. Next up, I have some cinnamon rolls. I have the, ooh, Cinnabon. How are you gonna open this? All right, we're gonna open this just like this. Mmm, look at that. I have to save this. Let me snag this out really quick. I'm making this for myself. It is going to be cheat day. All right, let's pull this bad boy all up out of here. Let's make this. So these could be a little tricky. Just place them, break them apart. They have like a stitching, obviously, with the dough. Um, but just go on and break that apart with these. Nice layer. You want to put them close together, but not so tight that they are on top of each other because they do have to expand. All right, look at this. All right, I have another one that we are going to open up. We're going to open this up, peel off the top layer, pop that bad boy. Now you can pop it however you desire. Okay. Let me grab this out really quick. Can't, we gotta utilize this. All right, the sticks right here. I'm going to just grab this, break them up again. We are going to add one really sweet topping. I mean, you could say two. It's just super quick, super affordable. I only spent, I believe they're on sale, um, $2 on each one for the cinnamon rolls. Right, we're gonna break this up. Are oh, they getting a little sloppy? Let me know in the comments if you guys have ever made fresh cinnamon rolls. We don't have time here because we want quick and sufficient. Okay, this does take a little while. It's annoying me. All right, let's just break these bad boys up. Just however they come. All right, I'm gonna put this here. This one's just a big one, okay? Look at all that. So now the cinnamon rolls are layered within the heavy whipping cream. I have some brown sugar. I'm gonna put this right here. I have a whole stick of melted butter that I've already done. I have a measuring cup of one third. I'm gonna go up in here. Grab this out, put it right here. That hot water is going to melt the brown sugar. Mmm. I'm gonna just melt it, mix it up with your fork. Oh, it's splatting. Gotta clean it up, but before we do that, we are going to go in with our blueberries. These have been washed, so I don't want no one in the comments saying you didn't wash them. <sighs> I did. You guys just don't see everything. All right, I'm gonna add another can of blueberries. Let me see if this is enough. We're gonna space them out. I washed them about an hour ago and they have fully dried. Um, so I'm going to go like that. Let me add a little bit more of blueberries. Good thing I have a third one. You want to do a nice thick layer of blueberries. Blueberries are also really high in antioxidants, so it helps with bloating. Definitely good for your skin. If you've ever done a blueberry facial, so good. All right, now that I have the blueberries, I'm gonna go mix this up. Got to get that the bottom layer. Make sure that is fully done. Put a top layer just like this. Make sure you want to get every side soaked. The heavy whipping cream is going to absorb in the cinnamon rolls. Here I have my well, that we're going to just like this. You're going to want to cover them up just like this. The oven is preset to 375 already. You're going to cook them for about 
20 to 25 minutes. And I can't wait to show you guys this delicious dessert. All right, you guys, I am so excited for this. Are you guys ready for this reveal? Let's go. Ooh, ooh boy. Oh, that looks good. Mmm. I have the icing. Remember, we saved it. I'm gonna drizzle that all across. Mmm. Smells good. Smells delicioso. Yes, baby. Alright. Little greedy, take out all that stuff. Alright, let's just go for it. Mmm. Oh. My goodness, look at that. A little sweetness on top. Oh my god, this is hot, but this looks so good. Let me go for it. Ooh, child. Yeah, this is it. This is so good. Mm hmm You guys, you guys have to make this. The blueberries are good antioxidants, and it's so sweet and delightful. It's good when you have a bad day. 